All right, what you see here is a new fan I picked up for free towards the end of last year, 2021. This is a Hampton Bay Huntington 3 ceiling fan in the brushed nickel finish. I've been wanting to get one of these for quite some time now, and since it was for free, I figured why not? It was literally like a few minutes from my house, or apartment more so, but um, yeah. The other reason why I picked this up was also because with another fan for free, that was the main reason why I went to, I responded to the listing. It wasn't on Facebook Marketplace, it was on a local group thing for the people who live in my city called Giving in so-and-so and such um so it's like for people who just want to give away stuff for free they can post it and people will come and pick it up and i happen i joined that group thinking oh maybe i can give away some stuff of mine and see if maybe people give away fans on there and after being on that group for a year or so i finally saw a posting for fans and it was more so the other fan that I, I was interested in it was an alaska made fan for him to make that it was the main reason why i picked it up but i figured since this one was for free as well and since I've been looking for one of these for a while now, I figured I might as well get it. Plus, with brush nickel still being a finish, that's kind of, it's still in style and such. Finding a used one of these in brush nickel won't be as common compared to, like, finding a white one or one in a different finish. So, um, yeah. The blade arms aren't saggy, so that was another reason why I picked them up. The one thing that's kind of droopy-ish is more so the blades. But this house was really right next to the beach, so... There was definitely a lot more humidity in that spot. But, um, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. The only thing that's a bit messed up on it is the switch housing. And it didn't come like that. That was, it came like that after I did, was reattaching the blades, blade arms to it. Um, some of the blade arms didn't want to reattach to the motor so easily. So I was holding the switch housing in place, trying to screw them in, and that accidentally loosened it, loosened it up. But I just need to get like a bolt or something like that just to reattach it or just tighten it and it'll be fine. But, um, yeah. It's missing one of the Hampton May poles. It does have one of them. Yep. There was like some crystal looking ball for the other pole chain. And it came with the four of these type of LED light bulbs, which is nice. I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of them, but I can find some use for them. Like, See how I was using like on a Hunter original with a form light kit with these type of light shapes. That's a different story. But on this fan, I think it looks a bit, looks like a bit too much. Yeah, there's the Hampton Bay logo there. And now the, find the info tag. And there it is. Now I guess it's this fan is from, a, has to be around from 2001 to 2000 because the other thing that I got that came up with it was from around that period and it's kind of I'm kind of percent sure that these fans were both bought at the same time and such um, it was the original owners it's just they wanted to change up the decor this was installed in like a living room so it's safe to it's definitely safe to say that the fan got used constantly especially considering that the blades aren't the blade arms weren't drooping downwards that much, whereas the, whereas the, which is a common issue with these. But um, yeah, I remember this was seeing this in the Ham the Home Depot catalogs in like 2001 and onwards. It was always one of my favorite fans in the catalog, and such. So the fact that I finally have one after so many years of wanting one, it's a nice feeling. So um. Yeah, and I do like the black blades combination on it with the bleach cherry blades that it has. I do like the bleach cherry blades more on this fan. I do remember there was a video that they had on YouTube. I think it's still on there. Um, you know, it's definitely on there somewhere still. But um, it was a video of a lady installing these, one of these, in place of a Harbor Breeze spotlight type fan. It was like the white tech spotlight, which I always did find once I saw the video of it with that. Like when they installed it in that video with the Weech Cherry Blades, I really liked how it looked, and that's what really made me want to get one of these even more as a kid. Or a preteen, I guess. But, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.